26, an equation of the line that passes through the point 2, 1 is parallel, that's a key word, to the line 2y plus 3x equals 8. So it's parallel, we want it to have the same slope as the original line. So we have to rearrange this to have y by itself, it needs to be in slope intercept form, and then the coefficient of x will be our slope. So 2y plus 3x equals 8. Let's subtract 3x from both sides, so 2y equals negative 3x plus 8. And now divide by 2 on both sides, y equals negative 3 over 2 times x plus 4. So the slope of this line is m equals negative 3 over 2, and since, the, since our line is going to be parallel, we want it to have the same slope. So we're going to plug into y equals mx plus b for the new line, and we know x and y because those come from the point that we've been given, and we know m because we want to have the same slope as the other line. The only thing we don't know is b, so that will come out. So let's make our substitutions. We have negative 1 is the y-coordinate equals the slope negative 3 over 2 times the x-coordinate which is 2, we'll put it in parentheses so you know to multiply, and plus b which is what we want to know. Negative 1 equals negative 3 over 2 times 2 is just negative 3 plus b, so b if you add 3 to both sides is 2. So the final equation should be y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 2, which is choice 4. And even if you hadn't done the y-intercept yet, as soon as you get that slope, you know it can't be 1 or 2, because you know the slope has to be negative 3 over 2. So, uh, And then once you know the y-intercept, you know this is 2, and 4 is the best answer.